Really big news yesterday. Uh, Senator Dianne Feinstein, who's a Democrat from California, she decided to sort of unilaterally, in a rogue kind of way, release the testimony that took place before the Senate Judiciary Committee from a few of the people involved with Fusion GPS. What, what is Fusion GPS? Why is this big? Uh, Fusion GP, GPS is the organization that was involved in the procurement of that now infamous Trump Russia dossier. And before I get into the details, it's really important to understand the backstory of this. What Fusion GPS does more generally is that they're a research and strategic intelligence company based in Washington, D.C. They do investigations. They do opposition research, related activities, other types of information gathering. Glenn Simpson is the co-founder of Fusion GPS. Joshua Levy is a lawyer for Fusion GPS. And they, and possibly even a couple of others, but they, as the primary, most important witnesses for today's story, were called in to testify before the Senate Judiciary Committee some time ago about how the Russian Trump dossier came to be. And since more and more people have been saying, well, why don't you release that testimony? And part of the reason why there have been calls to release the testimony of Simpson and Levy are because Republicans have been on a smear campaign against Fusion GPS, when the truth is that you can like the concept of opposition research or you can dislike it, but to question the legality of it or the ethics of it only because it turned up this dossier that said really bad things about the guy that Trump is like Donald Trump. That is very biased, arbitrary and capricious. So uh, what Fusion GPS did is um, they hired Christopher Steele. You probably know that name by now. Christopher Steele is the private uh, British corporate intelligence investigator, former MI6 agent. He did the actual research for the dossier and senators up until now have refused to release the testimony where Simpson and Levy talked about how, why and when did you get Christopher Steele to start working on this dossier? What was it that happened as the dossier was being developed? And a number of these other relevant questions. Senator Feinstein has decided to release the testimony and it is stunning. So let's start with why Dianne Feinstein chose to release this testimony. She said in a statement yesterday, the innuendo and misinformation circulating about the transcript are part of a deeply troubling effort to undermine the investigation into potential collusion and obstruction of justice. The only way to set the record straight is to make the transcript public. And she did that. And the testimony has now been examined. I looked at dozens of pages yesterday, although not all of them, because it is, I think, over 300 total pages. And I'll give you some of the highlights because there's really a lot here. Number one, Glenn Simpson, co-founder of Fusion GPS, testified that Christopher Steele told him that the FBI had a source inside the Trump organization during the campaign. Now, Trump organization, it, it wasn't clear whether he meant the Trump campaign or the Donald Trump uh, corporation. But the, the uh, allegation was that the FBI was talking some, to, to someone close to Donald Trump during the campaign. That's incredibly notable. Because why even at that early phase would someone involved with Trump be talking to the FBI? Glenn Simpson also testified that the Trump organization drastically understates the value of their buildings, their real estate in order to pay less in taxes, but exaggerates the value of that same real estate in legal filings to make it appear as though they are a smaller lending risk when it comes to securing loans and using their real estate as collateral. Not in and of itself mind blowing, but it does corroborate this idea that increasingly the financial related stuff is is probably of interest to Robert Mueller and his team. Uh, Glenn Simpson testified that while Trump claims he doesn't know that Russian mobster oligarch Felix Sater, the truth is that Trump does know the guy and that even after finding out Trump did that Sater was associated with the Russian mob, continued to associate with Felix Sater. Fusion GPS attorney Joshua Levy claimed that someone died as a result of the Trump Russia dossier. Quote, somebody's already been killed as a result of the publication of this dossier and no harm should come to anybody related to this honest work. That is interesting. And we don't know more about that, but that is that is a, a huge uh, piece of breaking news that we learned from the release of this testimony.
Uh, Glenn Simpson testified that the FBI believed Chris's information might be credible because they had other intelligence that indicated the same thing. And one of those pieces of intelligence was a human source from inside the Trump organization. That is interesting because what it suggests to us is that the Republican line that this fake dossier was the sole and lonely catalyst of Robert Mueller's investigation is not true. If you believe that the Trump Russia dossier is filled with lies, which we know it's not right, increasingly more and more elements of the Trump Russia dossier are corroborated. But if you believe that the dossier is merely lies, then you could criticize the Mueller investigation by saying, well, the only reason the FBI even started to look into Trump's campaign is because of this bogus dossier. What we now know is that whether or not you think the dossier is bogus, and of course, again, we know that it is not in total a bogus document, doesn't matter because the FBI was already looking into Trump's campaign before the creation of this dossier. That is absolutely major. But again, if you watch Fox News or listen to Hannity or Rush Limbaugh, you're not going to get that picture because this isn't what they're telling their viewers. Uh, Diane Feinstein is being slammed by some Republicans for releasing the testimony, although not everybody is upset with her. Chuck Grassley is the Republican who chairs the Judiciary Committee in the Senate. He said it's confounding that Feinstein would do this in the middle of an ongoing investigation. The problem is that the investigation Grassley is talking about is one he called for by saying we need a criminal referral for Christopher Steele. In other words, Chuck, Chuck Grassley is using the fact that he created an actual political witch hunt of Christopher Steele as a reason why we shouldn't know what was said during the testimony of these two associates of Fusion GPS. It's completely circular reasoning. It's what Peter Bogosian calls a closed loop of reasoning that you can't get out of. Uh, Republican John Cornyn, on the other hand, says it's a good thing and that he's glad that uh, this was actually released. And what I came away with is that the folks at Fusion GPS know what they're doing. That's one of the biggest takeaways I had from looking through several dozen pages and a couple of summaries of the testimony. One example is this brief statement I'm going to put up on the screen for you uh, from the testimony where Glenn Simpson explains the differences between the Russian and Italian mob operations. He said, quote, you know, Russian organized crime is very different from Italian organized crime. It's much more sort of a hybrid kind of thing where they're involved in politics and banking. And there's even a lot of connections between the mafia and the KGB or the FSB and cybercrime, things that the Italians sort of never figured out. Stock fraud in particular was the big thing in the United States. In any event, all of that entered into my thinking when I saw that Donald Trump was in business with Felix Sater in the Trump Soho project and a number of other controversial condo projects. This to me is a very savvy and knowledgeable firm. And to go back to what I said at the beginning, you can find opposition research to be a despicable game. And many of us do. And I, I do in many ways as well. But to allege that Fusion GPS, by taking on this project, by hiring Christopher Steele, was doing anything particularly or uniquely illegal, immoral or unethical is absolutely not true. These are real professionals who know what they are doing. So the broad strokes takeaway for me is number one, professionals doing high level research, hired a credible and experienced researcher in Christopher Steele. And it's not really that surprising that over time, more and more elements of the Trump Russia dossier have been confirmed. Number two, if you read through the questions and answers from Republicans and Simpson and Levy and Democrats and Simpson, Simpson and Levy, you will notice that almost every question asked by Republicans was a question focused on trying to demean and defame the witnesses, not figure out the truth of the Trump Russia dossier, even before they got into this hearing. Republicans came prepared with questions not meant to figure out, oh, well, how did Christopher Steele's methods relate to what the FBI was doing and what elements of this are sourced in one way or the other? No, all their questions were basically trying to make Glenn Simpson and Joshua Levy look bad to discredit their entire operation. And that is a red flag that we should all be aware of. And lastly, even before Fusion GPS hired Christopher Steele, what we learned from the testimony was that Fusion GPS was already aware of Donald Trump's connections to crime bosses in Russia. They were already aware of Donald Trump's connection to others 
uh, mob-tied people in the former Soviet states. Steele was hired not to generate new information, but to fill in gaps in a framework that Fusion GPS already had. So only further telling us that the dossier itself was not presenting completely new and previously unseen uh, information to Fusion GPS. And furthermore, that the dossier, as we've heard from James Clapper and others, was not the catalyst for the FBI and for Fusion GPS to start looking into the connections between Donald Trump and Russia, be they uh, connections related to the campaign, financial connections, and other connections to Russians like Felix Sater, the mob-connected Russian oligarch. This is major in terms of how it refocuses what we now know to be the Robert Mueller investigation. You're not going to hear this analysis on right wing media. In many ways, you're not going to hear it on corporate media. But those are the revelations that I gleaned from this. Send me your thoughts uh, about what you got from the release of this testimony. If you've checked it out, I'm on Twitter at D Pacman and the show is on Twitter at David Pacman show. The video you just finished watching was made possible by you through the membership program. You can sign up for membership at davidpacman.com slash membership. We are viewer supported independent media. You can use the coupon code. I voted 17 for a 40% discount off of your membership.